go ahead, cast that first stone. Judge what you do not know. Because you know what? All my life, that's what people have done. People have judged me based off of appearances rather than knowing the cold, hard facts of life. I hear the rumors buzzing around, you know, kind of like Google. I kind of know everything. Um, there's a lot of sources and a lot of people will talk if you ask the right questions. And, you know, it seems as if people like to judge other people. They like to cast the first stone when really they should take an inside look on how they're living and what they're doing to other people. But you know what? You know you know what I'm going to do in return to those people that cast the first stone? You know what I'm going to do? Absolutely nothing to them. But I'm going to push myself and work even harder because there's a lot of people who like to assume things about me that are completely false. Like, for one, boy, he must not make a lot of money. Boy, he must sit on his butt all day long. Boy, you know, he's lazy doing this. He's lazy doing that. When they really don't understand and they can't even comprehend. You know, most people can't comprehend what I do. Most people can't comprehend that I have eight YouTube channels, that I'm an Amazon affiliate, that I sometimes sell on eBay. Some people can't comprehend that I actually have a, a full-time job that I get up early in the morning and go out and work. Some people can't comprehend that I actually trade in the stock market. Some people can't comprehend how to actually run a business because that is exactly what I am. I have my own business according to the U.S. good old g -g government. I have my own business. Therefore, I am taxed accordingly just like any other business person out there, any other business owner out there. I am taxed in the same brackets as them so people can't comprehend how to run their own business. They like to judge me. They like to think things, but they don't understand the money that comes in and the money that goes out. Every day, hundreds of dollars are coming in, going out, go coming in, going out, and they don't really realize all this stuff because I don't brag about stuff. I don't go over the top. I don't like to make things, um, you know, I just don't like to brag about that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of the naysayers. I'm getting sick and tired of the people that are judging me um, without knowing facts, the cold, hard facts. But even when people know the facts, they'll still judge you. So that's why I don't return judgments for judgments. I return those judgments for even pushing me harder to better myself and better the future of my family because yes, right now I could sit comfortably sitting on my butt and not do a darn thing in the evenings. I, I could sit on my butt and not do anything, but you know what? That's not who I am. I'm not going to be that kind of person. I'm going to keep pushing myself to be better in everything that I do and people don't understand that, you know, here's my schedule. I get up early. I go to work. Sometimes I work five hours. Sometimes I work 12 hours a day. Sometimes I get up at 1 a.m. Sometimes I get up at 5 a.m. for work. You know, every day is a different day for me. I get up whatever time I get home. I get home. As soon as I get home, I go and I either, if it's 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I'll eat my lunch because I haven't eaten lunch by then. So I eat my lunch. I get a shower and I go and I start my next jobs. You no, know, I, um, while I'm working my first job, I'm also day trading in the stock market, making money that way, you know, ins and outs of all of that. So I'm doing two things at once. I'm multitasking. Well, actually I do a couple more than two things at once because while I'm doing my first job, when I'm in the vehicle onto the next job, I'm on YouTube, I'm on stock market. I'm doing everything, multitasking, Amazon sellers, working on my Amazon affiliate, buying, selling, buying, selling left and right. And people can't comprehend that. You know, they like to assume things, but they don't know the facts. Well, here's a cold hard facts and let them get to you. Just because I'm not out here bragging like 90% of YouTubers bragging about their income, bragging about what they do in life, just because I'm not bragging doesn't mean that I'm not working in the shadows, building a life for myself. Just because you think I'm spending money on something or I'm doing something, you don't know the cold hard facts. I got lots of um, sponsorships for a lot of the things I do because people... Some people actually acknowledge what I do and they want to be a part of what I'm a part of and what I'm working at and where I'm headed. You know, I spent a lot of time, I got my, my mom started in YouTube. My mom is now a big YouTube star and she just keeps on climbing. You know, she's got almost 30,000, probably by now 30,000 plus subscribers. You know, she's pushing herself and I gave her the tools how to do that. I've helped a lot of people how to do stuff and I don't get the credit, but I don't want the credit because you know what, inside... All that matters is I know what happened, I know what I do, God knows what happens, God knows what I do, and you know what, that's all that matters to me, is that the person who ultimately signs my future knows exactly what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. 
Therefore, I'm not afraid about the stones that come and hit me on the head, come and hit me on the face. I'm not afraid of the knives that stab me in the back. I'm not afraid of nothing because ultimately I know what I'm doing and I know where I'm going and I know what's at stake and what's not at stake and I know how I treat people and I know um, what I know. So back onto this. When I get home from work, I go right to being an Amazon affiliate. I go right to dealing with Amazon sellers. And what people don't understand is most of the Amazon sellers, they live in other countries where it's nighttime. So therefore, I would say between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. at night is when they start waking up. So then I'm dealing with them up until my job does not stop. Every day, seven days a week, my jobs do not stop until I go to bed. When I go to bed, that's the rest I get. I don't get to sit luxury, sitting on my butt all day long, playing with my thumbs, you know, eating candy and doing drugs, drinking beer, all that kind of stuff, even though I would never want to do that kind of stuff. The point is, I'm not sitting on my butt while people think I am. You know, I am pushing myself and I'm going to keep pushing myself. And the people who throw the rocks at me, every time a rock hits me, that's all right. That's all right. Let it hit me. Let it bruise me. Let it damage me. But you know what? It ultimately is not bruising what truly matters. And that's my heart, my passion, my drive, my faith, my love for my wife and so forth. So when people judge me, that's fine. People make fun of what I'm doing. That's fine. People want to assume things. That's fine. It's okay. Keep doing it. I understand. Not everybody can comprehend what I do. Not everybody can understand what I do. Not everybody can actually, you know, are willing to want to know what I do. Because people, when they see something, they judge it. You know, especially Christians. As a Christian myself, Christians are the most judgmental people and we should be the most happy people. We should be the most uplifting people. We should be the type of people that uplift everybody no matter what. We should have joy in our hearts no matter what because we know where we're going. So therefore, there should not be a day that we are depressed about our lives. Sure, life is hard. Sure, bad things come. But we should be the ones to be there to lift others up. But that doesn't seem to be the case. You know, there's so many judgmental Christians. And I just wanted to do this video and let everybody know Yeah, you might judge me. You might not know what I know or what God knows. But let me tell you something. Every time you throw a rock, every time you cast that first stone, I will not cast a stone back at you. I will use your stones that you throw at me and I will build a foundation upon which I can stand, which my wife can stand, which we can have a good future upon. Maybe doesn't seem like that now, but my life is in somebody's hands that knows the truth and I will keep working hard day and night pushing myself to breaking points every single day, every single day, seven days a week. The only time I get rest is when I sleep, but you know what? I'm pushing and I'm accomplishing stuff that I never thought I could because you know what? One thing I've learned in life, it doesn't matter, Christian, non-Christian, gay, lesbian, straight, bisexual, whatever. We just mentioned three of the same. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are. People will judge you no matter what you do. No matter what. If you're Christian, Christians will judge other people. If you're non-Christians, they'll judge other people. Everybody judges people, but you know what? You're held responsible for the own actions, what you do in your life. Whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you don't do, you are responsible for those actions. So when you cast a stone on somebody else, Make sure you truly know the facts. Make sure that you actually are able to cast that stone because he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. And let me tell you something. I don't know a single person without sin, so nobody should be casting stones. That includes me. I shouldn't be judging anybody like they shouldn't be judging me. I shouldn't be assuming like people assume about me. There's some facts. I know what I just said most people can't comprehend because most people can't even run one YouTube channel, let alone eight. Most people can't go to do a full-time job and run one YouTube channel. Most people can't do a full-time jo- job, run a YouTube t- channel, um, be an Amazon affiliate, trade in the stock market, have the knowledge of knowing how not to lose money in the stock market because 90% of people lose money in the stock market. And I'm not talking about putting your money away and just letting it sit there and automatically trade. I'm talking about day trading. I'm talking about buying in a company on a low and selling in that share of a company when it goes higher and continuously doing this, learning about dividends and stock splits and everything that's all involved on top of working at YouTube, on top of dealing with Amazon sellers, dealing with other business owners, on top of everyday life on top of a job 
on top of not getting enough sleep every day, I'm still pushing, I'm still building, I'm still taking your stones and I'm building a foundation upon those stones. So that is all right. Keep throwing the stones, everybody. Keep throwing the stones at me because I'm using those stones to build a foundation. And the more stones you throw, throw at me, the more I, and faster I can build my foundation. So it is okay. I forgive you. I'll pray for you. It's okay. I'm used to the judgments of all my life. People will judge my past. They think they know everything when they don't know half of what I had to put up with and half of the things that God has helped me through. Nobody understands it except a select few. And even those who do understand it probably don't comprehend it because they weren't in that situation. But that's all right. This is my life. This is my choice. I am building a future just because people can't see things right now doesn't matter. Even if, you know what, there's, it's a reason. I don't do videos like this because I do not brag. I do not talk about this kind of stuff. But recently there's been some stuff that has really bothered me. And you know what, I had to spread a couple facts for you guys. Even though I know no matter how many facts I give people out there, if someone's holding a stone, they're going to throw it no matter what they hear from me. No matter what I tell them, they're going to judge you. Keep that in mind. If someone has a stone in their hand, they're most likely going to judge you no matter what you do. Because you could do a hundred things right. A hundred things right. One thing you do wrong, they'll throw that stone the first second they hear you do something wrong. Or even if they assume you do something wrong, they'll throw that first stone. Because that is how the world works. But you know what? If you're a Christian, we serve someone who overcame the world. Keep that in mind. Don't serve people. Serve the one who overcame the people who overcame the hate who overcame the rock throwers people didn't understand what he was doing what jesus was doing on this earth while he was doing it but now you know christians get it they understand what he was doing just like people don't understand what i'm doing they don't understand they can't comprehend what i'm doing they couldn't even comprehend running one youtube channel let alone eight and everything else in life Most people have a hard time just trying to keep a job. You know, most people have a hard time of just simply going to a nine and five. You know, they think it's, oh man, this is bad. 